Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Amanda. Hope everyone is doing well. So in this video, we're going to be talking about some end times prophecies that are being fulfilled. So let's just jump right into it. There have been billboards and signs popping up all over New York City with the picture of the Rebbe saying Mashiach is here. The Lubavitch Rebbe, or simply the Rebbe, was a Russian Empire American Orthodox rabbi and the most recent rebbe of the Lubavitch Hadistic dynasty. He is considered one of the most influential Jewish leaders of the 20th century. He was born April 18, 1902 in Ukraine and he died on June 12, 1994 in New York City. A majority of the Chabad community believe that the, Re the rebbe is the Jewish messiah. In Judaism, they believe that there will be two messiahs, a peaceful one and a powerful one, Messiah ben Yosef and Messiah ben David. President Jimmy Carter designated April 18, 1978, the secular date on which the Rebbe's Jewish birthday as Education Day. Every year since, the acting president has designated the anniversary of the Rebbe's birthday as Education Awareness Day. Resolved by the Senate and the House of Representatives of the United States of America in Congress assembled that the President is authorized to request to issue a proclamation designating April 18, 1978 as Education Day in the United States. Public Law 102-14 on March 1991 states that Congress Joint Resolution to designate March 26, 1991 as Education Day in the United States in honor of the Rebbe's birthday. Whereas Congress recognizes the historical, traditional, ethical views and principles which are the basis of civilized society and upon which our great nation was founded. Whereas these ethical views and principles have been the bedrock of society from the dawn of civilization and they were known as the seven Noahide laws. So the seven Noahide laws are, the first one is not to deny God. Do not, the second one is do not blaspheme God. The third one is do not murder. The fourth one is do not engage in incest, incestuous, adulterous, or homosexual relationships. The fifth one is do not steal. The sixth one is do not eat of a living animal. And the seventh one is establish courts slash legal system to ensure law obedience. Christianity is considered idolatry, and believing in Jesus Christ would be an offense against the Noahide laws punishable by decapitation. There's another popular rabbi who the Jews are claiming is also the Messiah, the second of the two Messiahs. His name is Shalomo Yudah. Shalomo means Solomon, and Yudah means Judah or Judas. He's 33 years old, the same age as Jesus was when he was crucified. Kings chapter 10 verses 14 through 15 say, The weight of the gold that Solomon received yearly was 666 talents, not including the revenues from the merchants and traders from all of the Arabian kings and the governors of the territories. The end times prophecies warn us not to be deceived by the Antichrist. The Antichrist will mirror and copy Jesus, and many will be deceived, and others will be killed for their faith and their belief in Jesus Christ. It's a lot closer than people realize, and I prayed about it, and this was the answers I found. So, Shalomo Yudah hasn't officially been recognized as the Messiah, but thousands of Jews have said that he is the Messiah, and he will be announced to the world very soon. I don't want to worry people and for people to be fearful or to have anti-Semitic attitudes towards the Jewish people. End times prophecies were given to us out of love and God loves us and wants us to trust in him and prepare. Some people have not fully committed to God or Jesus and they might agree on certain things that sound good but haven't committed themselves fully to God. Words, actions, and deeds reflect our hearts. Don't just say words live those words. Love, forgiveness, humbleness, kindness, all the things that God asks of us, we should do them, even if it's hard. Again, I don't want anyone to have any anti-Semitic 
attitudes towards the Jews because I want to remind everyone that Jews and Gentiles are still part of God's family. God says that some Jews will be cut off, but not all of them, and Gentiles will be grafted onto the olive tree as another branch of his family. In the end times, some will have a revelation and no longer be blinded. So it's our job to help them come to that truth and show kindness and compassion. There's more to the Antichrist. The Catholic Church also plays a big role in in all of this, which I want to get into in another lesson. I just wanted to make this short video about the things that I had found and uncovered and the information that I was led to. And it's interesting because I prayed to God. I prayed to Him for guidance and to find the answers and to find the truth. And this is what I ended up finding out. So I just hope everyone enjoys the rest of their day. And until next time, guys, God bless.